Weapon skins are one of the many fun and customizable ways to personalize how you play Rainbow Six. Some skins from the big library of what can go on your weapons were only around for a limited time or, unfortunately, very exclusive and others will never be seen again. My name is Kegelenek and these are the top 10 rarest skins in Rainbow Six Siege. Make sure to stick around for the end of the video because I have an announcement that I think you're gonna love. Number 10. The Black Eye skin from Season 1 is one of the most aesthetically pleasing designs in the game. The beautiful icy texture contrasting the dark maple leaf gives an aura of beauty with sinister undertones. This skin makes number 10 because it is so sought after by the community. Everyone needs the skin in the alpha packs, but unfortunately, it's extremely rare. The official numbers are not available, but the rarity of the black ice skins in alpha packs range from 1 to 100, or 1 out of 13,000 of a chance of receiving it. This is also the only skin on the list that you can actually go right now and have a chance of getting. Number 9. The Piranha skin was another beautifully designed seasonal skin from early on in Siege's lifetime. Coming out in Operation Skull Rain, this skin is available for purchase like any other seasoned skin, but like others, it disappeared after the season was over. What makes the Piranha skin stick out from the other Skull Rain weapon skins is that the others from the season returned as universal skins, where the Piranha did not. If you were playing during Siege's second season, you were probably lucky enough to have this in your collection. Number 8. Realistically, most Pro League sets can fall under the number 8 slot, but many people watching this video did not play Siege back when the first set dropped in year 1. What makes this particular set unique, except that you can no longer buy it, duh, is that the Pro League sets originally had a very different design aesthetic, playing along with the brighter and more abstract colors instead of the more tactical ones that followed. This is a very unique set and you're probably not going to ever really see this again in your ranked games unless you're with a real old timer. Number 7. This bizarre crossover skin is likely to be in many people's collections watching this. But the reason why it's number 7 is because everyone with the Gris Colorful is extremely lucky. The skin was only available for users that logged on between December 13th and December 15th, 2019. This small window of time was the only time players could ever get the skin before it disappeared forever. Let me know in the comments down below what you think the rarest gun skin is, because this one's crazy and I actually own this one myself and I love it. The fire skin may belong to a lot of players who started playing Siege early on, but if you're like me and only got the game once the years and seasons started, you're out of luck. This funky looking skin was available to all players that played the beta before Rainbow Six's launch. There was even a glitch however a few years ago that allowed everyone to receive this skin for free even without playing the beta, but players that joined not too long ago are still out of luck rocking this fiery blue skin. I love the look of this skin. It is really unique and you don't see something like this every day. And unfortunately, we're probably not going to see it too much again. Number 5. Not only because this skin is exclusive, not only can players no longer get it, but getting the weapon skin also broke your bank account. In order to receive the SI 2018 VIP skin, not only did you have to buy the ticket to the series invitational land that year, but you needed to spend an extra $150 for the skin itself. Only the most diehard or, or richest players got this skin. I did not get this skin. <laughs> Number 4. It's Christmas time. 2015. You're playing Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain which only released months before, or you're playing the newly released Rainbow Six Siege and you're magically awarded a Christmas skin. This is the best present you've received all year. But if you were really lucky, 
Only a few specially selected players received the exclusive Rudolph skin as well. Interestingly, these skins were the very first weapon skins added to Rainbow Six Siege, and you can no longer get them. Number 3. The only skins on this list that I personally own besides the Gris Colorful skin. The Outbreak event was definitely something unique to say at the very least. This special PvE mode only ran less than a month in 2018 and had various Outbreak packs for a chance to win charms, weapon skins, or even operator skins at the time. Unless you were me and bought them all. Like all special events that came after Outbreak, the weapon skins have never been available again. And what makes it so sad is that the Outbreak skins have some of the best and easily some of the worst skins in all of Rainbow Six. It's a shame that some of these skins have just never made a return and never to be seen again. And before we get to the last two skins, I just want to say that in the description will be my Discord server. Feel free to send in any of your ranked clips that you want so that maybe I can do a top 10 weekly of the best clips you guys all send in where I can cast over and maybe give a brief analysis why this strategy works and why your gameplay is so awesome. So again, make sure to check my description, follow me on Twitter, and join my Discord server and send in some clips and we can also play Siege together. Number 2. Good luck seeing this one in the wild. The Peacock skin was the reward for players playing the Alpha of Rainbow Six before launch. The Alpha ran from April 7th to April 13th, 2015, so players only had less than a week to not only be lucky enough to play the Alpha, but also still be rocking the skin today as well. Yeah, good luck seeing that. Most people by then have rage quit the game, so if you still have the, uh, uh, the Peacock skin, let me know in the comments below, I'd love to see it in action. And the moment you've been waiting for, number one. The Glacier skin is the most sought after skin in all of Rainbow Six, with all the suave of black ice, but more mature icy textures and darker undertones. This skin screams nostalgia for the older days. Unfortunately, from what I found is that this skin was only available on the launch of Year 1 Season 1 and was removed without a word the same day. With other skins, you at least had a chance to receive the skin for some amount of time, but the Glacier skin was removed without warning, never to be seen again. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I would appreciate it a lot if you subscribed and, you know, liked the video as well. I'm trying to balance out maybe some non-esports content as well for the video. And like I said, feel free to join my Discord server and send in ranked clips as well. I'd love to cast over you guys and see what you do and just tell you how well you guys played. And to feature it on the channel as well. And you never know, maybe a team will pick you up because of it. But again, thank you very much for watching.